Hey, I want to show you one of the uh, common problem with uh, the coffee machines of uh, Seiko. And uh, what is the problem here with this machine? Um, when you start and want to make coffee with this machine, the grinder start to grind coffee and uh, every time when you want to make coffee, the grinder works uh, with uh, dif different different time. One time work for five seconds, one time for seven seconds. And what is the problem? When the coffee beans go inside the grinder, they are grinded and goes to this mechanism here. This mechanism here decides when the coffee is enough and uh, stop the grinder. And uh, you have a micro switch and this micro switch uh, govern the, the, the grinder. So what it's happened here, you have uh, see um, this black thing here. It's uh, some sort of carbon accumulations here and doesn't get a good um, contact. And sometimes because here uh, the, the voltage is 5 volt direct current and uh, this um, destroy this um, contact here and you have to repair the, the switch which I have a video or you have to replace it because this is dangerous uh, it will work like this but in some time will stop work and all the coffee from the coffee bean will go will be grinded and go inside the the brew group so you can have a big problem um, and this is for the switch uh, this switch st stays here and this is of course the cables and here is the the coil inside this this mechanism who drop the coffee inside the, um, the brew group. Something else I want to show you. I want to show you the steam valve of the Seco Encanto and Gadget Titanium because this machine is 100% um, Seco but let me show you. You can see here it's Gadget Titanium Okay, but inside the machine is uh, Seiko in Canto. So they have the same um, steam valve. And as you can see here, this one is the, the last uh, uh, model in production. There is a uh, silicone hose uh, and not um, the other uh, Teflon hoses. So it's not a problem, but it's the last uh, of the production. So the last machines are get from the factory with, with the metal uh, body of the steam valve. And the more old uh, models are getting out with uh, the plastic body of the, the steam valve. And you can see here one time is light white and the other is yellow transparent so what is the problem if your machine uh, leaks from uh, the steam valve and your steam valve is plastic you have to replace the whole steam valve because 99 percent of the time uh, this plastic is old and start to crack as you can see here this black crack here and uh, it's leaked some people try to glue it and, and something else but it's not work here you can see the same here on this piece here you can see the crack so if your machine is with this type of um, plastic uh, steam valve and this is inside the the, the steam valve what is inside so if you have 
plastic I recommend you to buy it may be a second hand or a new but buy um, with the metal body because as you can see the metal body it doesn't have a problem if you need to replace the o-rings or something else you can do it and no problem so this is for this video I hope it's helpful for you and uh, we will see you next time bye